Hey y'all, what's up? It's Rev. When I have a hard day at work, I like to relax with a little LaCroix. I make music a summer starved. I'm a record producer, songwriter, joyful, noise, chaser. Today's video was inspired by the recent episode of the Renoise podcast. Did you know I do a podcast? Did you? I had Eric Robertson on. We had a great interview. He's based out of Utah. He's an artist, producer, entrepreneur. He started multiple businesses. The way that I've connected with him was through the Pleasant Picture Movie Club, which is a boutique music library that you can subscribe to and then use for your content. I was honored enough to have a few of my tracks put in there. And so I thought I would uh, jump on an interview with him. You can check out the link to that podcast below. And I highly suggest you do. He's got a lot of joy, a lot of knowledge to give. And it was great. In the interview, he gave me a tour around his basement studio that he works out of every day. And it's like a creation station down there. He's got like 21,000 vintage synthesizers. It turns out the guy loves synths. He actually, him and his partner started a really cool YouTube channel called Synth Party, where he walks through all the different synths and shows you how to use them. It's like really great. So you should check that out. I'll definitely link that. So it got me thinking about the one synth that I have, singular, but it is a workhorse. It's the analog keys from Electron. Now they don't make them like this anymore. Uh, this one was used, I got it for under $1,000 and this thing is incredible. It's a four voice polyphony and it has a key bed in it. But what makes this thing really unique is when you partner it with the Electron software Overbridge. I can just pull that up in Ableton and then I get complete access to the analog synth, but I use it like I would any other soft synth. So it's really the best of both worlds. I'm gonna stumble my way through making a patch, show you how I use it and the overview of Overbridge. All right, so we're here in Ableton, um, and what I'm gonna do is show you the analog keys control surface via Overbridge, which is super incredible. And I brought up this analog keys plugin uh, by Electron, which integrates with your DAW, and you have total control over your analog piece of gear but it's within your DAW, so it's super helpful. So what I'm gonna do, this can be a little bit intimidating, so I'll just show you kind of how I would start a patch. Uh, it's really important for me. I rarely use presets, I'm getting better at it, but I like to be able to start things from scratch so that I know what I'm doing or don't know what I'm doing. Um, so it's just sort of something that I do. It's part of my workflow is to be able to spend time figuring stuff out. Um, so right here, we're on track one here and I'm going to clear that all together and just make it sort of a buzzsaw sound. I cleared the track. I'm going to clear the track here. So we just have like this original sound and I'll walk you through a little bit of the structure. So up here you have, this is a two oscillator synth. So you can have two waveforms going on at the same time. You have oscillator one, oscillator two, and then this is like a common section with vibrato, slide, sync, noise. And that would apply to both oscillators. So within the oscillator, you have just a basic buzzsaw, trapezoid, square, and then triangle. You also can put um, external inputs into the left and right of the back of the analog uh, keys, and you have a few different other options. What we'll focus here on is this here. It's really buzzy, which is cool, maybe. Um, down here, you start to get into the filter section. It has two filters, so um, and this first one is just a low pass filter. So as you hear, it's taking out all of the high frequencies. You can find a certain frequency and boost the resonance. 
And what that is doing is finding a specific frequency and boosting it. So the filter is just like super cool. You can overdrive the filter. I usually bump that real hot. Okay, again, this is just your, it's, it's overdriving that one single filter, which is, comes with some unique sounds to it. You can apply it to the key track, which basically means that it'll open up. If you go this direction, the higher you go, the more the filter will be in action. The lower you go, the filter opens up. So the opposite is this way. Low is the filter is enacted. High, yuck, it's there. So that is that section here. And the, the envelope depth actually shows how much this filter is going to be applied by this envelope here. So if I open, if I take that and I make the attack like there, and then I shoot the boost, what it should do is follow this filter. So it's basically interacting with this envelope here, which is super helpful uh, to get certain types of sounds. So if I take the um, filter envelope, I drop the sustain down, make sure this is, you can see that it's quickly cutting it off there. If I do, you have different uh, shapes here. So the attack, if I go like this, you can hear it Duh. on like a chord. You can see that the um, envelope is um, basically impacting or telling the frequency what to do, which is, um, it's pretty uh, standard for most any synth. So you have an amp uh, envelope, which just tells this it basically controls the attack, decay, sustain, and release of the oscillator. So I can go real long attack, so it's gonna take a while for it to reach this peak, and then the peak will drop. So this is all, you can uh, do the release. So I'm letting off the keyboard, and the amplitude, which is basically the volume, is following this particular envelope, which is cool. So it's gonna be hot and then it's gonna drop. It has a release on it there. Or if I go real short decay, bring down this here. And all I'm really doing is these, these uh, particular envelopes are impacting either the volume on the amp or the filter section. What's cool here is also you can apply this this particular envelope, so hot, like super fast attack and then a decay. You can apply this to a bunch of different parameters on the synth and you can do this all through your DAW, which is helpful, awesome, incredible, one may say. So let's do oscillator waveform. So I'm gonna slowly bring this in. And what that's doing is changing the oscillator waveform between buzz, trapezoid, between buzz saw, trapezoid, square wave, and triangle. It's, it's doing that at a fast attack, slower attack, maybe less. Okay, so then you can apply that envelope to a bunch of different things. Let's say noise level. I'll go up here to the common, I'll add a little bit of noise. As you see, that's very annoying, I'm sure. Um, as you see, this is controlling particularly the noise level um, that I added there. So let's say we want to just kind of like a hi-hat sound. I could just take this oscillator and turn it all the way down. And now here, I have kind of just this, I'm basically just controlling the noise through this through this envelope. So as you can see, we're just kind of starting to mess around with the different things you can do with a synth. This is why synths are, uh, have changed the game because you can 
essentially create any sound that you really want to, natural or unnatural. So let's bring in the other oscillator. I'll turn down the noise for now. And then I'll go to the amp and I'll just bring it out a little. Thanks for joining me on this wild trip. Okay, cool. So I have two oscillators basically. Here's one, but then I'm adding in the second oscillator. And then I have different options here to tune it, right? I can uh, tune it up to a seventh. You get this kind of sound. Messing with the pulse width a little bit. Giving it kind of a chorus effect. So you have these different options going on here. We haven't even messed around with the LFO yet. We're just kind of messing with the envelopes in the amp. The analog keys in the analog four from Electron, they also come with LFOs. At least in this option, there's two different LFOs. And these LFOs can modulate almost every single thing on the synth, which is incredible. So we'll just start with the filter. As you see, I have speed, I can multiply the speed, I have different ways to have it go so we can trigger it, and the trigger actually control, uh, you can you can control the fade so it'll gently, the LFO will gently fade in. Okay, so then let's take this. LFO has two different destinations, so it's basically these different waveforms are modulating at different speeds and can control different parts of the particular um, parameters that you choose. So let's choose maybe oscillator level. What if we chose, let's say, the chorus send? Cool. So LFO2, which um, now you have two other destinations to impact with a different LFO, low frequency oscillator. So what I like to do here is go to this. I'm going to have this LFO control, let's say the speed of LFO1. So basically this LFO it's modulating the speed of the first LFO, which is awesome. So again, I'll set this one to trigger and then let it fade in. Uh. And of course, what it's doing is impacting this LFO, which this LFO, LFO1, is impacting frequency and chorus send. LFO2 at this point is impacting the speed of LFO1. Now we're, we started from this regular patch and now we're getting... I don't even know what that is. Now we're getting into some strange territory. Maybe we'll have it bend up a little bit. Yes, all to say, you can. There's so much you can do with this synth, any synth really. Um, and basically, they start off all the same in some degree: oscillators, filter, envelopes, LFOs. Most synths are going to have those three things, four things, five things, whatever. And then all the other different aspects start to basically make synths distinct from each other. And again, this is why people are in love with synths because you could just mess around with them all the time. Just come up with interesting sounds. All right, y'all. Hope you like that. Hope it's useful for you. Definitely check out Electron. They are changing the game. I'm not sponsored by them, but I wouldn't mind. If you find any of this useful, you're enjoying the content, go ahead and like, subscribe, send me flowers. And until next time, keep making noise, y'all. Peace.